What's up, guys? This is Chris with Surfing and Swerving, and I just like exploring different areas and checking out different things. This will be a short video on the Saguaro National Park. A lot of people know the Saguaro cactus because it's an iconic figure, an iconic pose, but it's really only in Arizona, some parts of California, then the Sonora State in Mexico. So it's actually not even in a big of a spot. So if you're in Arizona or in the Tucson area, you gotta check out the Saguaro National Park. I'm gonna drop a couple facts about the Saguaro cactus and then just take you through the video. I love Arizona. I spend a lot of time out there. So I get to do a lot of things out there. If you're looking for things to do in Arizona, be sure to subscribe. But let's check out the Saguaro National Park because I loved it, it was beautiful, and I will definitely be back. All right, let's check out the video and then let me know what you think at the end. All right, guys, so let's get into the video. So whenever you get to the Saguaro National Park, I always recommend going to visitor centers because you get to learn a lot. And actually, the visitor center here is free. So before you pay to go onto the uh, actual loop trails, which we'll see here in a second, check out the visitor center. You want to learn about the different species. There's bobcats, there's badgers, raccoons, all kinds of different wildlife that live there and all kinds of different plant life that live there. Like I said, the saguaro cactus is a symbol of the West, but it really doesn't even come from that many spots. So appreciate it while it's here. And the thing about the saguaro national park is that a lot of the places here in the saguaro, you can't bring cars, you can't bring trucks. You have to pretty much hike in or come in on horseback. It's very good because it keeps it authentic and all natural. And nowadays we really need that. So what I did is I checked out the visitor center. I learned a lot. They have a really cool movie which talks about the wildlife and how the people used to call this place home, how they lived off the cactus, how animals survive in the harshest extremes. It was really cool. You also get to learn about the past, learn about who makes people national parks, because now it just seems like a given that there's national parks. But before this, places were almost always ruined, you know, so I'm glad it's here. Here's my truck. I actually leave it in Arizona. I'm living in St. Louis, and I'll just fly out and then hang out. So I went on the Cactus Forest Drive, which is this drive right here, which some would argue is the nicest drive in Arizona. I'm the guy. I would argue that. It's a really cool drive. And like I said, I was in Tucson for like two days. So I didn't want to do too much. But I was like, you know what? An easy drive and you get to see the area. Okay, I'm sold because I'm lazy like that. So, so many nice views. I mean, like I said, you get the mountain views. I had no idea how beautiful Tucson is. I normally go to Phoenix or Scottsdale, so I went south to Tucson. I did like the top five things to do in Tucson, and this was definitely one of them. I learned a lot about different facts, like the saguaro cactus, how it uses, there's other like bushes or trees that grow right beside it who use its shade or who use its like structure. You learn a lot about the ecology. So whenever you're driving, make sure you like stop and read the trail markers. You're going to see all kinds of people on bikes and hiking. This is definitely one of those spots where, you know, I go in the winter, but in the summertime, it'll be crazy hot. Winter gets in the triple digits. So if you're going, I'd say the best time to go is be like winter, spring, or fall because it just gets so hot. Remember to bring your water, tie your shoes, watch out for rattlesnakes, and remember to try to stay on the trails because whether you know it or not, you're bringing different pollen, different like, I don't know, different like, you're introducing different species into different areas. Um, towards the end, they had the Javelina Rocks, and like I said, they have different trails throughout the loop. So it's like, if you're on your truck, there's plenty of spots to park, and then just go stretch your legs, go get a different bird's eye view or an eagle eye view. It's really cool. I like watching the people explore. You know, everyone's got like their desert hats with like the flaps on the back of the neck looking like, I don't even know, like Indiana Jones. It's just cool seeing everybody get excited about nature and different national parks. This is me, by the way, kind of a goofy guy, but I like to travel and do different things. Um, like I said, I, um, I also ride motorcycles too, so it's such a beautiful motorcycle ride. So if you're in Arizona, you have to check out the Saguaro National Park because A, you don't even got to get out and do anything. You could just stay in your vehicle. So for all you lazy heads out there, check it out, explore, and on to the next spot, which is the Saguaro National Park. If you like it, be sure to subscribe to the channel as I explore different areas. Well, thanks for watching the video. You know, I could have gone into more facts, but I'm just trying to get as many videos out as I can. I have a lot of videos of Arizona, so I'm going to be sure to upload them just to show you guys what to think, what to expect. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm from the Midwest, but I love the Southwest. All right, guys, thanks. Serving and swerving and get out there, move your body, 
and uh, stimulate your mind, um, care for the earth, uh, drink water, love your neighbor, all of that. All right, holla.